What's going on, y'all? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down why there's no Crips and Bloods in Oakland. You got Crips and Bloods all over the world, period, but you don't got none um, right there in California, in Northern California, in the Bay Area. You know, and um, I'm speaking on the blacks primarily because you got, you know, small pockets of, of Asian and, and Tongan Crips. And even in San Jose, you got a, a small pocket of uh, black Crips, I think. But um, pretty much for the entire most part, there's no Crips and Bloods in the Bay Area and, and, and definitely none in Oakland. You know, never have been. And this is uh, due, probably more likely due to the Black Panthers. So we would have to go back to uh, the 60s or whatnot where big cities like L.A., Chicago had their gangs, which was growing in popularity. A city like Oakland, due to the sign of the times, had the Black Panthers. So, you know, my opinion, brothers who would have probably became, you know, gang, gang bangers and started their own gangs was Black Panthers. So that pretty much dictated and pushed the line throughout the streets of Oakland. You know what I mean? Even, um, don't get me wrong, and also another thing is a lot of the brothers up this way well, it was pimping. You know, they wasn't gang banging. It was, it was always hustling, you know what I mean? You know, you had pimping, and then you had, you know, a, a few D-boys, a few hair rod dealers. But um, it was no uh, line being pushed other than the one pushed by the Black Panthers. And um, there's plenty of examples throughout history. You know, um, it's another channel out there. You know, perhaps I'll put a link, you know, below uh, regarding the, uh, the times and actions of the Black Panthers. You know what I mean? Uh, especially in Oakland. Even in L.A., but, uh, you know, throughout the world. But uh, back to what I was saying. So, with all that being said, during that era, you know, the brothers, like I said, it was revolutionary in this area. You know, so brothers going to, to jail or whatever pushed that uh, revolutionary line, you know, throughout the uh, 60s and into the 70s. So, either you was a pimp or a revolutionary, so to speak. You know, or a hustler, you know, because then when once crack came, you know, it, it was that's why another reason why Oakland is called the land of the bosses. Due to, you know, when the crack era hit, you know, it was just, you know, as in every city, it was, you know, New Jack City. But we had a few Nino Browns out here and they pushed the line. So, you know, Oakland, we always been, you know, primarily geared towards neighborhoods. You know, where you from, what street you from, or, you know, what, 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 what project you from, or whatever. That That's what we represent, you know, for the most part to this day. And, you know, it's where you from, you know, it's, it's not like a gang, you know, it's no initiation in that. It's where you from, you true, you out here, you know, and it's all about making money. It wasn't game back, and it was hustling. So all of the, the, the turfs in the community, black communities, you know, it was, was dope driven. You know, it wasn't gang bang driven per se even though the cities that gang bang that was in drugs too but in Oakland the, the drugs pushed the line you know after Quintel Pro you know got rid of the Panthers it was just all about the, the hoods and turfs so it never was no no gang bang and it was always you know where you from you know and even though now more recently you got the youngsters throwing up they little you know what I would call tiny gangs and that's just really due to the just no structure out here in, in town right now you know um the dope game move way different so you know if your hood didn't pretty much last through the dope game meaning like if your hood i ain't just really know i ain't, ain't even got to be necessarily a million dollar spot but just cracking real hard you know a lot of the, a lot of the other youngsters start banding together and you know that in my opinion you know and that's why we got the little so-called banging right now, but it's not Crips and Bloods, you know, and you know, don't get me wrong, we're still all about hoods in the town, we all know that, but for the most part, that's the, the, the short answer, you know, and I can really get into detail, you know what I mean, so-called, you know, uh, year by year, if need be, but we pretty much get what I'm saying, everybody that know, whether you've been to prison or you're from the streets, you know, or if you didn't know, in Oakland, California, they don't game bang. It's just what it is, and that's due to the Black Panthers. 
you know, so when you had big cities like, you know, L.A., Chicago, and whatnot, when they were spreading their hustle and their game bang to other cities, a city like Oakland already had a structure in place, so to speak. So it was no use for nothing new to come to us. You know what I mean? Like, even when the movie Colors came out, okay, we look, okay, for sure. That's how they getting down in L.A. You know, they, they rocking hard. You know, but that's their thing. You know, we had our thing, you know, and that's how, that's how it always been. You know, so that's pretty much the answer, y'all. Why there's no Crips and Bloods in Oakland. You know, and if you out there listening and you say otherwise, you know, leave a comment. You know, like, dislike. Who knows, you know, and I and I don't want to, yeah, go ahead. I didn't even mention it on uh, 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 the rappers and all that because that's a whole different thing. I ain't really got nothing to do with banging. But no, uh, ain't no Oakland rappers banging anyway. So, that's the answer to the question. Peace.